Stephanie Inglis with Lake Life Realty. I'm here in Meredith on Main Street downtown with Dave and Nicole, thank you so much, here at Little Dog Paper Company. Um, this is probably the newest addition to Main Street this summer um, downtown and definitely a spot to check out. Um, so just to start off, how did you guys start and can you tell us a little bit about your background? Yeah, so we opened on June 1st, our brick and mortar store here. Um, I opened the business in 2013 um, just as a side gig when I was finishing college just for fun as extra money. And I opened the store with about 12 cards and two of them ended up on the Huffington Post for Valentine's Day and it just, it was history from there. Yeah, so yeah. I worked at a dining room for um, about four years and then brought Dave on as my partner in February after we went to a planner conference and he got to see kind of what we did and everything and he was like, I need to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. So we found this location and we opened on June 1st. Mm -hmm. Great. And yeah, I don't, I don't know how much you know about the planning industry or greeting cards or whatever. We got to Chicago, even though I was violently ill um, <laughs> with the worst the flu I've ever had. Oh, no. um, I, I got horrible. to see her be treated like a rock star. I mean, we, we she had 40 or 50 people lined up of this 350 person conference before we even opened to buy her cards and her stickers and her planner stuff. And I was like, we need to get you out of your living room <laughs> and into a store. So that's where nice. we kind of moved from there. And then yep. we, Found this location after a very brief search in April, signed it, did our build out starting May 1st and opened on June 1st. Great. So it's such a transformation from online, yes. it sounded like, and doing conferences and things yeah. like that to actual brick and mortar. Yeah, so we still are going to be doing the conferences. That's a yeah. huge part of our Definitely. what we do and like being personable and being out there in the community as well. Yeah. And we originally weren't going to um, open a store. Mm -hmm. This was just going to be a studio space yeah. for us to have all of that stuff back there. Just to get it out of the house pretty much because it was taking over. Funny <laughs> how things yeah. change and so it evolves into what it is now. When we found this location right across the street from Mill Falls, we were like, we have to do a retail store. Yeah. We have to get our card line bigger than what it is. Mm -hmm. So we started out with 38 cards when we opened. We now have over 170-ish. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. going to say, and they, the so, gears are always turning, I'm sure, yeah. and, and new ideas always yeah. coming out. Bringing Dave on has been huge with that. Yeah. Like, all of his dad jokes have been saved up for 30-something <laughs> years are hey, now people part dad of our jokes. line. <laughs> exactly. So, no, yeah. that sounds great. Yeah. Perfect. So can you tell us a little bit about what um, folks can expect when they come into your shop? What kind of items they'll find? Sure. Um, Stationery has always been our main focus. Um, our card line is obviously our main focus. So we wanted to bring that to the community because we really don't have any, I don't want to say competition, but there aren't really many stores around in the entire Lakes region even that have stuff that we have. There's a couple in Laconia, but we wanted to bring that more north. So um, we have a bunch of gifts, we have journals, we have cards, obviously we have bags, all kinds of stuff. And you create those all, all those designs, and you mentioned the, the phrases and everything, you create those all right here. Yep, we do, yeah. right out back. <laughs> so all of the equipment that we had in the house is, is here now. Mm -hmm. So, plus some other stuff. Plus some other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So yeah. it's building. It's always an ongoing thing. Yeah. Um, do you ever find a time when you run out of phrases and, and things like that? Is that a challenge for you to come up with new ideas? Um, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, it's funny you ask because when, when we started this, I had already been coming up with ideas before she let me be her partner. And I do say that specifically, let me be her partner. So it was a 20-hour car ride back from Chicago that convinced her to do that. Uh, in that time, I had, I had been thinking about birthday card ideas and you know congratulations ideas and wedding ideas and thinking like what would I say to my very best friend you know your, your best friend that you mess around with a lot and that's how I started coming up with, with some of our new stuff and, and there's a there's definitely a sense of humor to it that you have to have an open heart and open mind to <laughs> and so when you walk in you're gonna see some stuff that some people are probably like oh why is that on the shelf and some people are gonna be like oh my god that's hysterical actually I think our favorite thing that happens in this store is when a bunch of ladies come in that are just out shopping for the day and just cackle the whole week. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, it's, it's, they probably they might not expect yeah. those items necessarily yeah. when they're coming in. Yeah. So that's true. Especially yeah, when 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 we were opening up, we we had signed the lease for here and we went down to Portsmouth to Gus and Ruby's down there to kind of get an idea of what a store could look like mm -hmm. set up. And they have their cards and some other people's cards, but they also had different products that were really funny. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, there's really nothing like that up in Meredith. That you know, something like you read it and you just start laughing. Mm -hmm. So I started writing down what these vendors are, and we started carrying vendors like Blue Q and Knock Knock and uh, NPW and 
uh, Evelyn McDowell and Badge Mom and a bunch of other you know plays uh, vendors that are just based on making you laugh. Mm -hmm. We do try to have a functionality with our products too, but for the most part, these are gifts that you give somebody that has everything, and they're like, oh my god, it's the funniest coffee mug I've ever seen, or yeah, and then you give it give it to them with hopefully one of our cards. Well, actually, the first time I ever came through, I instantly thought, you know, Christmas stocking stuffers, you know, fun things to get, you know, a girlfriend or, or, a, or a cousin or a best friend or something that you don't normally see in everyday shops. So I think that you hit that nail on the head when you did it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, now I have to ask, Little Dog um, Paper Company, I have to ask the Little Dog, do you, do you want a Little Dog yourself or is yeah. that an inspiration? Yeah. Um, it? Um, logo, actually, I have rebranded in 2014. Um, the company used to be called Alex Studio, and then the card line, I had two separate shops, was called The Salute Stationery after my two kids. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to kind of take that out and meld everything together. And one day I just came up with Little Dog. I'm like, I have two. Let's yes. just call it Little Dog Paper Coat. There's really no science behind the name <laughs> at all. And then I did the logo to look like my Chihuahua. Perfect. I, I was yeah. going to say, people always love to know the story behind yeah. the name, so I yeah. think that it's always important to, to know. And you also, aside from just having the, the brick and mortar in the shop, you do events here as well. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, so when we opened in June, we wanted to do paint classes. I've been an artist my whole life. I wanted to get back into that and make it a routine for me as well as the community. So we do paint classes every month. Um, right now we're just doing acrylic painting. Um, we plan on bringing like bullet journaling and hand lettering classes and even like flower arranging maybe mm -hmm. in the spring to the back room over there, we can help. We can hold classes up to about 18 people. And a great opportunity if someone wanted to have a special occasion or a birthday party or something like that. Oh sure, yeah. Totally if they had a big group that they wanted to do, that doesn't have to land on one of the nights that we offer mm -hmm. in class. Also, we uh, we partnered up, well not really partner, cross-promoted with Herman Woods Winery, so if you pre-purchase the class, you get 15% off a bottle of wine to bring with you to enjoy oh, yeah. and make your painting look better. And now <laughs> it's to like sip something while they're while they're being an artist if they yeah. don't consider themselves one <laughs> otherwise, so exactly. that makes sense. And you have a conference, or I should say, a, the wedding expo you were talking about too, yeah. you're involved in. Yep, so we're doing the Lakes Region Bridal Show. It's being held at Church Landing on November 4th. So we'll be kind of debuting our um, wedding invitation line. So that's going to be a huge thing for us because up here also we don't really have any competition as far as that is concerned. And um, we're getting married in two weeks. And we went, thank you. When we went to Castle in the Clouds for the first time, um, they gave us a brochure, you know, like a packet of things, like with all the vendors and stuff that they have. There were no wedding invitation vendors um, in the packet. So I was like, we really need to kickstart this and, and get going with it. And this area, the Lakes region especially, is such a wedding destination. Exactly. There's so many people that they're willing to, they need invitation somehow, and not yeah. everybody wants to do it themselves. Yeah. So I think that you're, you're doing a great thing for yourself. I was right actually now. shocked to hear or to see that we just, there was no one, really. Yeah. Um, Portsmouth has a few. They have a few really, really great, like strong, mm -hmm. hard, um, and stationers down there. But up here, it's, it's going to be us. Oh, yeah, no, that's a, it, it's a great facet for you guys to kind of tackle. Um, and then, Meredith, I know you touched on, you found this space back in the springtime. What brought you up to the area initially from, from where you are? Why why, why Meredith and why, you know, the Winnipesaukee area? Well, uh, we, we, we actually live in Franklin right now. Um, we were looking to be within a, within a relatively, um, you know, reasonable drive from Franklin. Uh, as a matter of fact, when we first came to look at this place, Nicole said, this is too far on the way here until we I've walked in. I've been working at home five years. <laughs> we got off the highway, I said, this is a commute, like this is, it was a shell shock yeah. for me, working by myself to know a team of five. Yeah. But so, the mailbox was a long commute. So, but um, yeah, so we, we, we found this and I think, you know, what, what, and you know, people were so in, in, embracing of us coming into this community um, as far as just having not just new blood, but a new, a new uh, energy, a new environment, um, new products that, that, that they don't have around yes. here. And even with our wedding invitations, when we, when, you know, uh, at the wedding show will be unveiling our antique letterpress and works that we can do with that. Um, and that's going to kind of just add a new thing to it. And our, we'll have packages that are reasonably priced for people that are on a lower budget to, you know, we can go crazy sure. if we need to. <laughs> exactly, like anything else, I'm yeah. sure. So there's, there's really, there isn't too much in this shop that we don't do from a design perspective on top of this fun stuff that you get to shop with and the cards and stuff. 
Um, we just designed the new menu for like New Tavern. We're designing some uh, some new menus and, and work for uh, whole, a Meredith Whole Living across the street. So we, we want to be very into the community as far as that's concerned. We want to make sure that we can help you know everybody grow because when everybody grows, everybody wins. And I think that's a great um, kind of mantra to have, especially in a, on a Main Street location when you're in a small community that shrinks in the winter time and grows in the summertime. It's good to have the community feel to kind of sustain you throughout the Absolutely. throughout the off months, so mm -hmm. to speak. So so if someone wanted to track you down. You obviously have a huge presence online before you had the brick and mortar. Right. So you can go check out your Facebook page mm -hmm. and website, and that's littledogpaperco.com, correct? Correct. And then Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. And are those all the same handles as yeah, well? Yeah, little dog dog yeah. <laughs> Good. So I mean, online definitely check you guys out. Yeah, um, sure. Stop into the shop right here on Main Street. Just look under the awning, and you'll and you'll see the, the windows are so pretty Thank here. You. I was gonna say you can't miss those, and the, they always change too. Yeah. I think you guys are doing a great job. At, and we will be open them. all winter um, yeah. because we have the online store. Because we have all of the other things, and not just the retail. This is just our home permanently, so it's like if we're here, we're going to be open. So I think that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, the Meredith Downtown family welcomes you, and we're excited to have you here too. So um, if you get a chance to come down, check them out, and um, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.